A local GOP politician in Connecticut has been arrested after he allegedly grabbed a female colleague in her genital area while proclaiming that he no longer has to worry about political correctness. Now, this story sounds like it has to be fake. It, there's no way that this possibly happened. But apparently surveillance footage uh, showed what the woman had alleged, and as a result, the cops had arrested this man. So it's Greenwich Representative Town Meeting Board Member Christopher Vaughn uh, Kieserling, and he was charged with fourth-degree fourth sexual assault and was released on $2,500 bond. So apparently in December of last year, he engaged in a political argument with a woman and allegedly declared, quote, I love this new world, I no longer have to be politically correct. As the woman turned to walk away, he reportedly reached from behind and placed his hand between her legs and pinched her near her genital area. Now, uh, there is some disagreement as to whether or not he intended to grab uh, her butt or if he intended to grab her genitals. But regardless, this has nothing to do with political correctness. This is all about sexual assault. You're not allowed to grab people, regardless of who you elected into office. And unfortunately, uh, this is something that really did occur in Connecticut. I can't believe it. So his lawyer thinks, what's the big deal about this? It was He call, calls it, quote, just a jocular moment. Can I actually read you uh, what he said? Because yeah. it's insane. So uh, this is his lawyer. Let's go to graphic four, uh, 4A. In almost 30 years of practicing law in this town, I would say that Mr. Von Kieserling is one person I would never suspect of having any inappropriate sexual predilections. Uh, there was a playful gesture in front of witnesses. It was too trivial to be considered anything of significance. To call it a sexual assault is not based in reality. So for him, it's like, well, he did it in front of other people, so it's not sexual assault. Yeah, if I was kidding when I sexually assaulted you, does it really count? Uh, and it turns out the cops looked at the video camera and thought, yeah, it counts. Well, let me define sexual, sexual assault. It's fourth degree misdemeanor sexual assault. But sexual assault is sexual conduct with someone who has not given consent. And so I don't see how you could define this as anything other than sexual assault. In fact, she was leaving the room, and that's why he grabbed her from behind. She was leaving the room because she was afraid to be in the same room with them alone because he was also bothering someone else in that room right. that he had come to talk to and she wanted to leave. One of them said that he looked like he had evil in his eyes. So it didn't seem like they were kidding around or maybe he thought he was kidding but they certainly did not perceive it that way, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it is not kidding when you actually touch someone. So it doesn't matter what your intent is, you can't grab someone and go, "Well, I didn't mean to, you know, get off on it. I just meant to just harass you normally because I found it amusing. Well, the cops didn't find it amusing and I'm sure that all of you right-wingers who say the cops are right about everything will now agree they are right about this right. and that this man belongs in prison rather than in politics. You know, it's interesting because these discussions about political correctness, I, I realized, very rarely have to do with what people want to say, right? Because, first of all, the same people who claim that they're sick and tired of political correctness are the same ones who literally piss their pants the second you mention the phrase white privileged. Like mm -hmm. they lose their mind. Okay, well what about, am I supposed to be politically correct and not talk about an issue that I think is relevant, right? Because it offends you. And then another thing, they just extend the idea of political correctness to things that are just unlawful. Sexual assault has nothing to do with political correctness, right? Yeah. It's sexual assault. You don't touch anyone, man, woman, child, without their consent. And in this case, that's what he did. That's called lawful correctness. Right. <laughs> it it yeah. is either lawful or it is not. And if it is not lawful, you go to jail. That's how it works. And what's great about what he said is, I love this new world. I no longer have to be politically correct. But as far as I know, sexual assault isn't a new world thing. That sounds to me like the old world, like the 60s and before, the madmen, like, you know, the That's rape culture. That's what they culture. miss. That's, look, he's 71 years old. I'm sure he remembers those days fondly and wants to go back to it. He feels like he's lost control because of, you know, people fighting for rights, like not being groped by individuals that they don't want to be groped by. That, that's exactly right. Yeah. And so when Trump said, you know, grab him by the pussy, right? And, and by the way, he also said, I moved on her like a bitch. <laughs> Which I just, every time I have to note, that makes no sense, right? That's like a thing a 40, the 40 year old virgin would say. Like, I moved on her like a bitch. Wait, then you're the bitch. Okay, anyway, uh, 
So when he said it and got away with it and wound up becoming president, that empowered all these guys to think, oh great, we're back. The, the, the good old days for us, the bad old days for everyone else is back. Mm -hmm. Now I won't get in trouble when I grab their ass or grab their genitals like we used to do in the old days. And back then that wasn't sexual assault, that was my privilege. And you had to just sit there and take it because you weren't equal to me. Well, they hate equality, they can't stand equality. They're like, ah, oh, the good old days when we used to be able to assault anyone we like and get away with it. Yeah. He thinks those days are back, come to find out the cops don't agree. You know who's going to stop Trump, stop the establishment, stop the corruption? You are. You help us hire new investigative reporters and we will unleash it on them. TYTnetwork.com slash go. Let's build the best journalism team in America.